approach right now. Joining me now to weigh in is Richard Socarides, President Clinton's former top advisor on gay rights and an LGBT activist and writer for The New Yorker. Richard, a pleasure to have you back on the program. Good to be back. So where do you fall on this? Is now the right time to press for a constitutional right? I think so. I mean, I think uh, things are moving very quickly. Mm -hmm. So uh, th uh, three, four, certainly five years ago, it was a little... Uh, it was a little less clear, uh, but I think today, after the Windsor decision last summer, people ho are hopeful that the Supreme Court, that there are five votes in the Supreme Court to find a constitutional right to same-sex marriage. Certainly, what we know is that uh, it is it is probably not as dangerous mm -hmm. as once thought. I mean, you know, five years ago people thought maybe we shouldn't ask for it yet. We shouldn't ask the court to go that far and, and yet. And of course, the last time Boys and Olson tried to bring this before the court, it didn't work. It didn't work, but they were successful in getting same-sex marriage returned to the state of California. So right. that was a pretty good, uh, you know, second-place prize. But you think it's time to try again rather than trying to get let this bubble up from yeah, the state? Yeah, I, I think that uh, you know the Supreme Court is always reluctant mm -hmm. to go further than they need to with the particular facts before them. So they will always look for the path of least resistance, or at le least historically, mm -hmm. that's what they do. But um, the cases that are working their way up now, this case you mentioned in Virginia, that's yeah. why it's so important because it'll probably be the next one of the next cases that gets to the Supreme Court. And look, it seems like whether the approach is bottom-up or top-down, change is happening all the way from Virginia to Alaska. It's certainly working. And Arkansas, you know, the first state in the South uh, that, that has allowed same-sex marriage. Uh, Virginia, there was a court ruling earlier, but that court ruling was stayed. So in today, uh, today in Arkansas, if you're a same-sex couple, you can get married. Times they are changing. The other big gay rights fight right now is over employment and the right to fire people for their sexuality. That's coming to the fore, ironically, actually, through sports, because Michael Sam was drafted in a state where gay individuals can be refused employment or even fired. Uh, how do you think Sam's draft might affect that fight in Missouri? Well, I think that uh, that moment that was captured on film was uh, was certainly uh, very emotional. And you know, most players who are drafted, these are young guys, they're people in college. You know, they, it's, it's normal to respond emotionally. But I think that that, for many Americans, may have been the first time that they saw an unscripted real-life uh, gay couple, uh, Michael Sam and his boyfriend. See it there, a very partner. sweet moment, really. I mean, it's a very sweet moment, a very emotional moment. Anyhow, we've had a lot of professional react. athletes on the program talking about this moment since it happened and got all this play in. The consensus seems resoundingly to be everyone of every sexuality kind of has this reaction to a draft moment. Exactly. It's a, it's a common thing. Right. And these are, you know, this is not someone who's had a long professional career. This is, this is, this is a young person uh, at, at a moment where everything, you know, in his path has suddenly changed. So it was normal to share it in a very emotional way with the people he loves. But do you think that could change the debate on these employment laws? Well, I think it'll change the playing field in a lot of ways. I think certainly, uh, I think it was Senator McCaskill, who is the, one of the senators from Missouri, was the first person who said, you know, in, this, in our home state where Michael Sam plays college football and now professional football, hopefully, that he could be fired for being gay in that state because there's no protection. There's no state level protection mm -hmm. and there's no ENDA. Now, ENDA is supported. This was the federal right, legislation. ENDA is the federal legislation which would say federally, mm -hmm. which would provide federally that you can't be fired just for being gay. Which is for now dead on arrival. It, it is now n uh, not likely, very unlikely to pass or even to get a hearing in the mm -hmm. Republican House. Uh, we, we think there's a lot of support for it in the Senate. It has moved in fits and starts, but uh, no one's pushing it now because right. the action seems to be around same-sex marriage. But, you know, arguably, more importantly, it would affect more people to have this employment non-discrimination protection. Which so much on the line. In most places you do not have. And it does seem like a couple of steps forward on marriage, a couple of steps back on some of these other issues like employment with very real human stakes. Thank right, you so but much. But a lot of progress Socrates. being made. But progress. I think it's a happy day on this front. All right, up next, the city of Seattle announced